these notes are on union and intersection. Um, it's, I have found in the past to be a, a topic that is a little bit confusing because of the way we speak in English um, and then translate that into math. So um, in English, we call this the or, and it's a right side up U without a tail. So that's how I remember it's union because it's got the matching U's. And union means or. So when I'm given a probability like soccer, um, union, female, I'm basically asking for anyone who plays soccer or anyone who is female. So it might be helpful to label a little bit more here. Um, this, if this is female and this is soccer, that must mean that this is female soccer, which means that this must be soccer male, which means if this is female but not soccer, it must be baseball. Whoops, can't spell. Which means that if this is all the females, um, that, and this is the males who play soccer, this must be the males who play baseball. So now I'm looking for any of the numbers that say soccer or female. So this number 35 says soccer. This number in here, 50, says female and soccer, so it counts in both. And this category over here says female. And I put that over my total, and my total here is 141, which gives me 111 over 141, which is a probability of about 79%. The only number in here that didn't fit the category of soccer or female was the one that had male and baseball. This is the category where it doesn't fit either of these qualifications. Now looking at this in a table. In a table, when I'm looking at um, this male and vanilla, I'm basically looking at everyone who is male and everyone who likes vanilla. There's a problem though. I want you to look very carefully at what I circled. Initially you're thinking, okay, vanilla, it's 18, that's right there. Um, male, that's 14, it's right there. But if you look carefully at what I've circled, we've actually overlapped. And we've overlapped here which means it isn't 18 plus 14, it's actually 18 plus 14 minus 8 out of a total of 47, which gives me 24 over 47, which is approximately 51%. Now there's a second way to do this, and the second way is very similar to what we did in the Venn diagram, which is to go to each of the inside boxes. That's what the Venn diagram shows is all of these numbers. And to say, vanilla, male. Vanilla, male, no. Vanilla, male, ooh, it's male. Vanilla, male, it's vanilla. Vanilla, male, it's both. And then to take those three numbers and add them up. 10 plus 6 plus 8 out of 47, which is 24 out of 47, which is approximately 51%. So either method, whichever one makes more sense to you, will work. Let's look at union with a tree diagram now. In the tree diagram, union, again, I am really looking for anyone who says that they are a right-handed batter or they say they're a left-handed pitcher. So when I look at this, I first start at my first split and I say, well, does this group of people say that they're either right-handed batter or left-handed pitcher? It turns out that all of those people say right-handed batter. So that's 1,193 plus. Now in this side, I can't pick all 417 because not all 417 are right-handed batters. In fact, um, none of them are right-handed batters. So now I'm looking for those who are left-handed but our left-handed pitchers. All of these people are right-handed batters. Some of them are also left-handed pitchers, but I only care about if they fit into one of the two categories, not necessarily both of them. That's something else. So now I have over 160, plus 162 over the total, which is 1610, which is 
1355 over 1610, which is approximately 84%. Now we're going to go to the other part of these notes, which is the intersection. Now, intersection means and. So it has to qualify for both. It can only be the people who are both of those things. So I'm looking for the place that overlaps in this Venn diagram that is both soccer and female at the exact same time. And it turns out that that happens right here. That that is the one and only group of the one, two, three, four groups that are both soccer and female. So I have 150 over 141 which is approximately 35%. Something very similar happens in the table in terms of I'm only looking for the overlap. So if I'm looking at the males and I'm looking at the vanilla, I'm only looking where they overlap, which happens right here at 8. So it's 8 out of 47, which is approximately 17%. So in both the Venn diagram and the table, it's easy to see the, it's relatively easy to see the overlap. They, it sits right there. You can see the coloring in. Um, it's right in front of you. In the tree diagram, it's a little bit harder to see that overlap. So the first thing I need to do is I need to look at my first split. So my first split is about batters. So in my first split, I want to look at right-handed batters. So that's these people. So I'm following this path first. Then I need the left-handed pitchers. So that means I'm following this path next, which means I have 693 over my total of 1610, which is approximately 43%. So it doesn't matter which one of these is written first, I have to go with whatever the first split is and follow that path to the number of people I am actually looking for. 